Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about Daiquiri Dozen. Alicia, Alicia from New York with her, eh, Hi, my name's Alicia. Welcome to the Daiquiri Dozen. It's, I'm starting to like, it's her voice is starting to just rub me the wrong way. You know what I mean? You just listen to a bit too much and you're like, I don't like it. You know what I mean? Anyway, today we're going to talk about a lot of updates on the Daiquiri Dozen. Um, kid got a Jeep, which is Great. I have no problem with buying your kids' cars if you can afford it, as long as they're safe, but he's not, so we'll talk about that. Alicia is no longer going to Wegmans? <laughs> what happened? Stay tuned to find out. And of course, we're going to snark on not a haul, maybe, but she's cooking. So I want to see what her cooking skills are like because I have some cooking skills a little bit. I'm not amazing, but I like to cook. So let's take a look at those and see what we can find. All that today on the Dad Challenge Podcast. Let's go. If you don't know who the Doherty Dozen is, they are the brand new family vlogger on the street that's like taking the world by storm. Even my wife was like, hey, have you seen this? And she showed me a picture of Doherty Dozen. I'm like, who? No. Why are you looking at that? She's like, oh, it showed up on my front page. Everybody's front page. She's on news broadcast. She's like, this Mama 12 makes ketchup sandwiches. Celebrate. Like, terrible. This woman is terrible. Okay. There are some redeeming qualities to everybody. So in fairness to Alusha, some of her redeeming qualities are that, yeah, they have given, I don't know, is it like eight kids, nine kids, a better place to live than probably where they currently were, which is great. People who foster and adopt are awesome. But people who foster and adopt for clout and YouTube money and exploitation are not awesome. The opposite of awesome, which is dirt balls. That's who they are. Crazy pieces, crazy middles. All the, There's a bunch of other families people are trying to tell me to look into. They adopt and tell stories and are show how bad they actually are with this. If you're adopting multiples and multiples and multiples of kids, you better be prepared to give them the life that they need. Not deserve. I know everybody's like, deserve. Need. The therapies they're going to need. There's so much attachment issues when it comes to kids who are fostered or adopted that it's like... Like the success rate of adoption is really actually not as high as you think it is. Quite low, actually. And so you're going to give yourself even more of an opportunity for your kids to fail when you take too many in and you can't actually properly parent them. Alicia also has a problem with drinking, in my opinion. Okay. And has admitted so that more, I don't know if all of her kids, if not a very high percentage of the kids that come in from adoption and fostering come from fetal alcohol syndrome disorders or from drug addicted parents or alcohol addicted parents. Okay. At some level, they all come from something like that. And the fact that she drinks in front of them and doesn't un actually understand what micro triggers are, uh, microaggressions are, what triggers are things that these kids can't explain to her what they are. So she thinks she's doing okay, but they can't explain to her even if they did have an issue with it. They don't know how. Kids like that young, like I was that young and had to live through that, we don't understand those things until we're much older and out of those situations. Then we're like, oh my gosh, that was like the most triggering thing ever. I came from alcoholism and this woman drank around me. And it probably turns into a different person when she's drunk, by the way. So let's start off with the buying Alex a Jeep. Now, I'm going to start this off with saying, I have no problem if you can afford to buy your child a car or give your child a car, getting them a car. I have a problem, though, when someone did say this in the Reddit thread that if you can't even put your own toothpaste on your toothbrush, maybe you shouldn't have a car. These kids don't know how to earn anything, how to work for anything. They are going to be entitled crazy children. I'm OK with giving your kid a car or letting your kid use a car, but maybe you just get a family car that everybody, you know, get a couple of family cars that kids can just use. Spoiling your kids rotten while not ever teaching them anything about how to get a job, cook anything. These kids don't do anything, apparently. Again, like the toothbrush. Apparently, Alicia puts their damn toothpaste on their toothbrushes. So I don't know what's more egregious, the fact that they spoil these kids to the point where they don't know the value of anything, or this dance TikTok they're about to do. Trigger warning. It's like spaghetti legs times two. <laughs> Much 
Some things don't need to be put on the internet, right? Do we agree? So there's this Jeep anyway, and that's what they made. She buys this kid a Jeep and then just uses it for content, right? They made an entire video about it that's got, I don't know how many views does it have. Let's take a look. Got 200,000 views five days ago. So they're buying this kid a Jeep and they're making their money back. They're probably writing off this Jeep that they bought for their kid as an expense because they made TikToks and videos about it. This is crazy. Either the government needs to crack down on this type of thing or I'm going to keep, I'm, I'm going to, my other channel, I'm literally just going to do all my shopping hauls and I'm going to pay for it with like my company credit card and I'll write it off as an expense because I'm making content out of it. Like, it's a good idea, not gonna lie. Let's be real, but that's what's happening here. Now, again, I don't really have a problem. If you're gonna buy your kid a car, they're gonna learn. Kids should be independent that way, or you know, I think that. At least pay for the insurance, something, whatever. We can argue about that all day long. There's a lot of people who are looking to nitpick about that kind of stuff, but if you can afford to give your kid a car, why would you not? I, again, that's me growing up without a car until I was 20 years old. So I never, at night we walked everywhere, even unless that, that one period of time when my mom was married for like, Five years, we had a vehicle in our life, right? We were doing okay. And that's the only period in my life I remember ever having a vehicle, right? Ever. And then it was, before that was all walking everywhere with mom and taking the bus. And then after that was all walking and taking the bus everywhere. I never had a vehicle until I was older. So I would love to bless my kids with that. I'm not going to lie. She admits on this video here, something that we should all look at. So just be careful. Yeah, does the car have a CD player? Does the car have a CD player? You might, oh, right. you might be right. You might be right. She sounds like a Muppet. Am I right? Like she, mom, 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 mom. It has one of those like right. streets, right? Yeah. Think about that. We're not cars, CD players. Speaking of cars, okay. I was driving today and ran over some mailboxes, <laughs> so that was an adventure. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> so she's telling you that Alex ran over some mailboxes. Some mailboxes not a mailbox just nicked it by accident maybe backed into it, whatever ran over some mailboxes <laughs> i don't know how i'm gonna keep saying that so it registers how do you run over some mailboxes now that's coming from a dad who has taught his kid to drive okay tyson is a very cautious driver he likes to i don't know if he likes to drive but he he drives and he's very cautious and you know, we be we took him on the places where there were no things he could hit when you're learning how to drive. How do you hit multiple mailboxes? It's not like they're like unless they're like all crunched together on like a roll road and there's like five and you hit it by accident. Even that, I'd be like, all right. But it sounds like they hit like they like he was going out hitting mailboxes. Are you still driving today in the car when we went back? <laughs> when we dropped Deshaun off at his friend's house. <laughs> so you're dropping someone off, letting this guy drive. And he hits a bunch of mailboxes. Okay. So you're, I'm not sure he should be driving if he doesn't know how to drive when you have little kids in the car. Does that sound safe to everybody? No one else? No, this is not safe to me. Are you crazy, Alusha? We went in here. She <laughs> went over some yeah, mailboxes. mailboxes. <laughs> yeah. It's not funny. You had other kids in a car with a, with a teenager who doesn't know how to drive safely. What if he hit a tree? What if he hit another car? This time it was mailboxes. You got lucky and you're laughing about it. There was other kids in the car, dumbass. I don't trust him driving now. Oh my God. It was real so not. And that kid's in the back saying, I don't trust you driving, mom. You hit mailboxes, bro. Funny. Um, it wasn't funny if you're laughing. Okay, cool there, eyeliner. But like, we had to go knock on the doors and apologize. And now Alex and Josh need to go put in two new mailboxes so they hit two mailboxes <laughs> after the first mailbox that you hit i'd be like well that's it for today son i'm going to drive now better luck next time bro how do you hit two and then he probably kept driving these people are crazy what an idiot is what i'm trying to tell you here so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop over to the da da daiquiri dozen uh reddit thread which is my favorite and they love me as well and we know that she goes to Wegmans, which is probably one of the most, what I've learned is one of the most expensive grocery stores you can go to. Apparently it's like one of the higher end ones where, you know, they bag your groceries and stuff like that. The ones I go to, you got to bring your own bags, bag your own damn groceries, and they check out real quick. And then you're trying to like get everything together while the next person's coming through. And you're like, oh my God, I gotta hurry up. Ah! You know, and you're trying to get your debit done. And you're like, I, have, I forgot my bags. And you got to buy bags for like 10, 15 cents a piece. And they're just gross. Okay, they're rude. That's what I have to go through. 
And I wouldn't. I, on principle alone, I wouldn't pay to go to Zares or the expensive grocery stores like Sobeys to get my shit bagged. I'll do it my damn self. Loves to go to Wegmans and she she talks about how it's amazing. They take care of her there. But then she did this in her live, which was kind of funny. Someone <laughs> And someone on Reddit pulled up from her live, so I appreciate that person on Reddit. I don't care if you hate me or not. I think you're amazing. Um, pulled this out. <laughs> yeah, it's the face for me. But basically, this is what she said. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> Drink water. More water. Please. You buy so much bottled water. Why don't you drink any of it? Just saying. Please. Yzma. Um, yeah. Wegmans has a lot of good marinades. Mm -hmm. Although I, I think I'm gonna start shopping at Walmart from now on. Ooh, why? She just like, oh yeah, Wegmans has some marinades and stuff, but I'm just gonna go to Walmart. Why don't you go to Costco? You literally shop for like 188 people to eat. So go to where you get the bulk items, right? Am I crazy for saying that? Am I way out of line? You can get the Costco membership card, what's it called? The friggin' business one, right? and get 2% cash back. Maybe that's just Canada, but maybe it's the US too. 2% cash back on what you spend. That 2% cash back, of what she spends is a lot of money. Why don't you go to Costco? Is it because she can't film there? I don't know. And what's going on with Wegmans? Is it because she can't, what happened? We want to know. And she's like, oh, but I'm just gonna look off in the distance. That's my plan. That's my plan. Here's another plan. <laughs> yeah, I know. My five below phone stand. Um, Josh is supervising the pool. We always have to have an adult down by the pool. Yes, which is you also should. nice with like the. Jess fam, are you listening? Adult by the pool, not a camera. Okay, got it. Grandparents always here. Is that there's always like someone's. It's a nice ass pool. Dang. Supervising the pool. But is he? he's over Where there. Is he? Say hi. Where is he? Oh, he's on his phone supervising the pool. Okay. Josh! What? Say hi. <laughs> Not even paying attention. <laughs> he's he's paying attention to our kids swimming. Hey Josh! 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 What? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was on Snapchat. Um Yeah. Tell me more about Wegmans. Why won't Is it just me or is she the most awkward person on alive ever? Like, you know. Just ew. I would be awkward around this person. Mart, what happened? I don't know. I never really feel welcomed at Wegmans. <laughs> Excuse me? You didn't feel welcome at Wegmans? You literally spend like $5,000 to $7,000 a month at Wegmans. Are you telling me the manager of Wegmans is like, I don't like you here. Are you, you think we're dumb? You spend more money at Wegmans than like three families combined. They love you there. What happened? Something happened. So, let me give Walmart a try. <laughs> Are you? Good luck. You don't feel welcome at Wegmans, which is probably one of the higher class grocery stores, but you think you're going to feel welcome at Walmart? Okay. Okay. They seem nice. People were saying in the Reddit thread too that she complained about Walmart because they would put her carts away. Like she would put her cart up, like because she takes like 18 carts to go grocery shopping, right? Fills that shit up and then puts it somewhere safe and then the, like the employee's like, oh, this needs to be put back. And they just take that shit. So, okay. Or she's, some people are conjecturizing, TM, that she's getting a sponsorship from Walmart. This pause screen is scaring everybody. I know. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Sponsorship could be it. Or Wegmans didn't sponsor her. Or they said, look, you can't film here anymore. Probably at Wegmans. I don't think you can film at Walmart either. So I don't know what she's going to do. Is it going to be secret filming? I think what we're seeing here is an evolution of an influencer. Okay. This is quite telling for a lot of them. And they all go through the same type of evolution. They get lucky on the internet and they're like, I can't believe I got lucky. I'm going to capitalize the shit out of this luck now, right? Which means I'm going to exploit my children's stories. I'm going to lie about what time I wake up and cook breakfast. Right? They lie. Uh, I'm going to do all these things because that's what got me famous. And I have to keep doing that. 
right? Um, but she also then didn't realize, man, I didn't know I was going to get such a huge following of haters for being complete and utter asshole. But there it is. So all of her back content is being scrutinized by the people who hate her. Right? That's what you sign up for when you sign on to the internet and do this, when you become an influencer. The other evolution is that of when you grow and you get sponsorships. Micah did this. She did a video once where she said, you can go back and watch it, but she did a sit down interview with this guy from vidIQ or something like that. And he's like, tell me about your life. What happened? She's like, well, you know, when I was early in my channel, like I would look for these people and say, hey, would you like to sponsor my video? And they wouldn't. And then when I got huge, they'd come to me and I'd say, piss off into the sun. I don't want your money, right? They do this thing where they feel like they are entitled, right? Love Meg right now went through that whole thing and it's got canceled over being the most entitled douche on the internet. And now she's asking people, hey, do you have an Airbnb or a Verbo you want me to do? Give me a free stay. She, they think they're entitled to free shit. I interviewed, um... I interviewed Paul from the White Moose Cafe. In, amazing. That guy, he, he he's like, no influencers allowed in my restaurant. There are like food trucks and everywhere else putting up signs saying, no influence, you're not going to give you free shit. Don't ask. I don't need your influencer bucks. Okay, it doesn't work that way. This is what she's doing. Now, either Wegmans didn't give her sponsorship or said you can't film here anymore, or she's trying to get a sponsorship from a grocery place. I don't know. But again, I still go back to, if you're buying that much food, why are you just not shopping where the bulk items are? You have Sam's and you have Costco's in the States and probably others. What's your problem, Alush? Anyway, all that to say, this is her evolution, right? So she drinks White Claws like they're going out of style. Where she should be drinking water, it's White Claws. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, this is what she did. So the question is, I need to know more about the White Claw breakup. Do you want to sponsor me? No, I'm sorry. White Claw says no. I was in here yesterday. You wouldn't wait on me? Oh. You work on commission, right? Uh, yes. Big mistake. Big. Huge. I have to go shopping now. Now, I know that she thinks this is funny. Okay? But she's like, now I'm going to drink Corona alcohol. Spritzer shits. And someone said that I don't drink. And someone said that these things taste like you're watching... TV static and someone shouts the name of a fruit in another room. That's what they taste like. Like it tastes like someone <laughs> It tastes like someone ate a fruit salad and then burped into your water bottle. It's like the hint of a hint of lime. Like strawberry with low battery. It tastes like when your foot's asleep and you drop an apple slice on it. It's <laughs> It tastes like the memory of a dream this one time where you licked a strawberry. It tastes like when your sibling burps and blows it into your face. <laughs> anyway, that's what they said. So she's basically this is the evolution of of Alusha, right? She's like, I need sponsorships. I'm don't you know how big and huge I am? Like as if White Claw wouldn't sponsor me. Why would White Claw sponsor you? First of all, you don't look the part. Second of all, you literally adopted kids. You're going to be like, let's let this alcohol company sponsor this family vlog. Even White Claw's not that dumb, I hope. They might be. I don't know. Anyway, it's she's a joke. That's what I'm saying. Alicia, chill. Yeah, so some of the comments were, what alcohol brand would sponsor a mother with 12 minors where multiple, FA, where multiple of FAS? Just so strange in the worst ways possible. And I don't think that Alicia's fans are White Claw's target market. I don't think so. Chill on the aperture too, okay? All right, anyway. I need, you know what makes me so mad about that ad? She's like, big mistake, White Claw. Like, White Claw gives a shit. Don't you know how many sororities are starting up this year? Okay? White Claw will be fine. You know, Maya Knight. They got Maya Knight. They'll be okay without you and your eyeliner, I promise. Drink water anyway. Stop getting drunk, please. For the sake of your children. Okay. All that to say, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna go through this one. So we're gonna do a little snark. I wanna see how she preps her breakfast routine for 12 people. And remember that she sets her clock at five and turns the camera on. It's not five o'clock in the morning, by the way. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not gonna, obviously it's gonna be a long video, but I don't wanna, I wanna go through the whole thing, but let's just see, cause I'm a decent cook, okay? Hi everyone, I'm Alicia with the Doctor D Dozen. Routine where I prep breakfast, lunch, and dinner for my 12 kids. But first, coffee! It's lemonade. It's limeade. It's good. It's good. It's good. Coffee. <laughs> but first, Corona White Claws. Can you just cut that part out? What? Alicia, please just get someone to edit for you. Please, for the love of God. Who watches these entire. This one's like 40. This one's an hour long. Who watches this whole thing? All right, Thursdays are my long morning routine because I do a crack pot meal. Crack pot? You're doing a crack pot meal? 
crack. You're putting crack in the pot. Is pancakes started? First of all, it's summer, right? Still, I don't know. Kids, who's waking up in the summer and eat breakfast? Also, like, pancakes are relatively quick and simple, right? So, what, are the kids waking up at 5.11 after you've made the first batch of pancakes to eat? Or are they going to come down and eat cold-ass pancakes? What's going to happen here? Are you going to be like, okay, hey, there's pancakes because you want to eat pancakes hot, right? Or warm, at least. So, why are you cooking them at 5 a.m.? No one's going to eat them. Just another wasteful thing. And then we'll prep the spaghetti. There's no cuts, no edits, nothing. Oh my god! Two boxes. Of, two boxes. Of jack. You That's suck. Nice. Get a microphone. I thought. Excuse me. Excuse me. I thought you can't use the water at your house there, Alicia Liar. That's why you buy thousands of dollars worth of water bottles a year. I thought that you don't get to use the what's, what am I missing here? What's happening? She's using the water. So why can't they use the water in their $150 water bottles you bought them? What am I missing here? Is she, is she this dumb or am I missing something? Just pour a whole shit ton of oil in there? Is that a secret? Is that a secret ingredient? You didn't even measure anything? What's going on? Water. What's happening? Oil. You didn't measure the oil? You didn't measure the water? Eggs. You could use milk if you want. You have enough milk. Why didn't you use the damn 18 gallons of milk you bought? What is going on? Did she drop shells? Uh, okay. My, like, I have, I think I've discovered that I have sensor issues. And I didn't know what the term was until, like, I became a parent and I understand some, you know, whatever. Okay, I have sensor issues. And I didn't realize it. If my fingers are dry, like not, do you know what I mean? Like crusty dry. I, uh, you know what I mean? I have to wear hand cream. That's why I have hand cream in every single room. And I use this stuff. It's really, it smells really good. Um, I can't have dry hands. It, it triggers me. I don't know. I also cannot, if there's an eggshell in my food, it's gar, I can't even finish it. There might be more if I've got that crunch of eggshell. One time I got a McDonald's, uh, breakfast thing and it had eggshell in it. God, threw it out the window. Birds can have it. Okay. I cannot do eggshells. I'm sure there's other things, but dry fingers and eggshells. Uh -uh. Or dry thing. Oh, feet. Oh. <laughs> okay. You only put two eggs in there. You put two eggs in like 16 cups of pancakes. Are you sure? Okay. You suck at this. Let's mix this up. Jeez, what's going on? Let's recap the problem so far. It's 5.02, which she's a liar. Set that clock at 5, right? Um, who, you're making pancakes, which are the easiest effing thing on earth to make, and you mess that up, by the way. Who's, again, you're going to feed your kids ice-cold pancakes when they wake up at 9 a.m.? There's Your kids aren't even going to wake up for five more hours. Even if it was school, right? Your kids aren't waking up till 7, right? Am I wrong? She's a liar. Damned liar. Okay, she does not cut anything. Oh my god. Turn the bowl. What is she doing? What are you doing, Alicia? Now what are you getting? You already put oil. You put like six gallons of oil in that thing and two eggs. <laughs> she doesn't measure shit. Am I crazy? What's going on? She's lying. She throws that shit right in the garbage. We'll just turn that off. No, your shit's still flickering. What's that like? 
Okay. Why do you have your light switch behind a cutting board that your clock is on? What is going on here? Is that safe? You idiot. Oh, she's got to fix the lights before she makes pancakes. Arrange the thing. Charcuterie board. Why do you have a charcuterie board on your wall? Holy shit, lady. This is looking good. No, it's not. That's a straight lie. It's too thick, first of all. Second of all, you didn't put the proper amount of ingredients in there. What are you doing? And you're using the bad water? What is... <laughs> Why are you doing this first? Oh my god, you suck ass at this. I'd call CPS just on these pancakes. Be like, sorry, you, you feed your kids this stuff? Done. The kids are gone. All right, cut it or fast forward or something. Second of all, or third, or whatever we're on, that little griddle is tiny. You're feeding how many kids? And you get a griddle for like, I could use that griddle for my breakfast. Maybe get tools that work. What in the fresh hell are you doing? Yeah. What is your shirt? Turn up. There we go. Turn up a little bit more. Oh my God, you are right. bad. We are gonna cook our pancakes. Yeah. All right, that should be good. Okay, what is this? What is that thing? Is that a pancake thinger? That seems silly. Just getting the whole side wet and soaked. Who cares? Oh, that's pretty cool. Looks like dog shit. First of all, that's the consistency is too thick. Ask Jenna. Jenna was one of my close friends. Okay, she's an amazing baker. Jenna, if you're in this chat, uh, that's too thick, right? Am I right? Am I wrong? Like it looks literally like dog shit. And she's not even like, what are you doing this for? Just let it go and thing. If it was the right consistency, you wouldn't have to do that. I'm pissed right now. These pancakes are garbage. She's, again, she doesn't do this. She's just like, what do I do? What do I do? You don't even know what you're doing. What are you doing? So, Is that a t-shirt? Are they? Are they cooking? Bacon in the oven. What? Again, why are you cooking at five o'clock in the morning? Who's waking up to eat this shit? I hope you clean your damn scissors after you cut bacon open. It's grease in there. Um, so I was trialing my morning routine on live. Um, I was trialing the Lord of Fire Lord of um, I got a lot of feedback though about like the video quality is different and the way that it streams is different. And well, again, just go to your local. There's always everybody in every town's got one of these. Here we got an amazing one, a couple of them actually. Go get your effing giant big ass restaurant grade box of bacon. It saves you like a hundred dollars. Center cut too. It's like sixty five bucks for a box. This little griddle. <laughs> lady she's a straight liar she's not good at this everybody's like you're such an amazing mom i'm not saying you have to be an amazing cook but just do things properly you're lying first of all because no one's coming up to eat at 507 in the morning and you just you're not you're not good at this how shame on you you think i think they're okay Maybe if you took measurements properly, read the instructions on the box, like a lot of us do, read the instructions, throw that shit in the garbage, pull that shit out of the garbage to read the instructions again, throw it in the garbage again, pull that shit out of the garbage again. Okay, I got it. Like the rest of us plebs do. I just need to let him cook a minute longer. We're definitely ruined that one. You think? Looks like your eyebrows. I mean, my kids will still eat it. No, they won't. Who... I hope they she shows at the end what time they come down to eat breakfast. All right, let's get the bacon in. That's all you're making for 14 people? I would eat all that myself. That's all me. What are you guys having? This is mine. Oh my god. I thought you can't use the water.
can't do deshans. They use paper plates and shit. She's got water, everybody. What am I missing? Or was the water not the issue? The water, the issue was their septic tank. But still doesn't mean you can't drink the water, right? Well, water's good. And you're wasting paper towels. She's a waster. I'd get my ass kicked if I did something like that. Oh my god, you're just... It's like, she is the embodiment of ADD. This is what my brain goes through every day. This is what she just did all there. That's my brain. Just trying to do one task. Botched. You botched. Yeah, you did. Looks like a pile of poo. You suck. You can't even flip a pancake, lady. You don't have to reflip them. They're done. Yeah. You, they're done. You don't put them back on. You shall spread them thinner next time. Mm -mm. Next batch. Put, put the proper amount of wet ingredients and you'll be fine. That shit is literally tar. <laughs> This off and get okay, so dinosaur. whoever is gonna eat those ones, those are gonna be icicles by the time they get downstairs. This is why I don't believe her. I don't believe her because I don't think her kids actually come down and eat together. It's unless you, what are you, where are you sitting? Do you have a table with fifteen chairs at it? And no, it's the summer. No, everybody's got things to do. You're busy. There's no way they're all eating breakfast together. They're just fend for your damn self. Go into the giant storehouse of food we have and pick something. Get it uncrustable. Clean off the other shit! What's going on? Okay, what do you mean spread it thinner? You didn't- that doesn't spread it thinner! What are you doing, man? Are you- is anybody else upset with me on this? Or am I just being a little bit like a- am I being a diva? I'm pissed because she's so bad at this. And she's a liar. And she's proving it right here that she's a liar. What's that noise? Do you have a yeah. dishwasher going? I'm going to get spaghetti bake, okay? Yeah. Spaghetti bake. All right, let's see what she's got going next here. Okay. You're gonna want a big why, do you, why do you spray bread. so much pan in your shit? Use butter or use natural ingredients. Not even the stuff that she cooks with is good for them. You have, I know you have at least a gallon of olive oil. Maybe some of that shit. It's all about just what's fast and easy. When the other stuff's quick, fast too. Why is your face like that? Add your tomatoes and sauces to this pot. So if you start with just like a skillet. She has cut meat, packages, bacon, meat, bacon, meat, and, and I, I don't think she washes those scissors. Those scissors are literally ground zero for the next pandemic. You, you're gonna get all that shit in your nails. That's why I said you can't do fake nails. Again, this is just an example of fake nails, man. Can't wipe your ass either. Do you guys see my Instagram the other day? This girl trying to pick up something off the ground with her fake nails. Those pancakes are shit, man. Shite. They're just shite. Not even circles. They're like blobs. Here's a blob cake. Right, Enjoy it. Cooking. I love you. Why are you smashing shit? We're only 10 minutes into this video, okay. I'm gonna see how she cuts an onion. I bet she does it wrong. There's so many different smells in the kitchen. <laughs> Smells. Yeah, Just onions yeah. and pancakes, yeah. Combination. <laughs> oh my god. The Doherty dozen, Alicia, you are a gold mine of snark. I just thanks. Thank you for being here. <laughs> More grease! She poured like six gallons of oil in that pancake mix too, by the way. Your kids are gonna die of heart disease. I hope you know that. Alright, this end one. You suck at this. Just use a ladle. We'll put it in a squeeze bottle. You're garbage. Okay, let's keep going here. I can't. Still have a good flavor. Onions are chopped too thick. 
Doesn't know how to do it. She doesn't know shit. Onions. Just get a slap chop. I love little chopped onions. Tiny ones. First of all, fry your onions first. You don't fry your beef first. You fry your onions first. You soften them shits up. Then you put your beef in. Amateur. Okay, so they're not in school yet. So. You know how expensive horseback riding is? Your shitty chopping is killing me. You're not even using a proper knife. You garbage at this. I'm gonna get her phone fixed. Okay, I don't know. I gotta fast forward this. This is like craziness. No, no. Pancakes are. Look at the pancakes. Look at the pancakes. Okay? Looks like the guy from that movie. So, I will not be live tomorrow. Oh no. I will be doing more neighborhood. Cue sad music. Oh my god, Alicia won't be live tomorrow. What will I do for an hour while she cooks shitty pancakes? <laughs> Finn, shut up. Jerk. Because Look at the freaking pancake, whatever that thing is. So that crock pot is huge. I guess it'd have to be, right? Stop! It's like one of those space blankets. Put my liner in. So loud, Alicia, you got people sleeping. doing that shit on purpose. Maybe this is how she wakes her kids up for breakfast. Right. Is she sponsored by Pam or something? You have about half of your sauce at the bottom of the crack pot. Did someone say she was doing a cookbook? Because <laughs> I'm buying that shit. You know I am. Alright. Here's the trick, okay? So you don't waste sauce. Throw a tidbit of water in there. Put the lid on. Slosh it around. Pour it in. Don't waste any sauce. And she won't. She'll just throw that shit in the garbage. Uh, I need two and a half cups oh, is she gonna do it? Oh. Okay. Okay. That's not a measuring cup, lady. Because your spaghetti is going to cook, right? How do you know that was two and a half cups of water? Your pancakes are burning. Put your, spaghetti your pancakes are burning. Still dry, uncooked. Pancakes are burning. And it miraculously cooks right up. Your shitty lump ass pancakes are burning. Check your shit, lady. By crushing up the spaghetti, which is apparently it's against the law if you're Italian to do that. Like you can you can put be put to the gallows for doing that. Ew. For breakfast? One, two. What are you doing, man? You know when you do something the way you've done it your whole life and you look at other people, you're like, that's wrong. I mean, it, it's right because it works, but it's wrong, you know? That's, she did that wrong. What are these cupboards? The yellow. It's like Jess Fam's kitchen. You ever heard of a fork? Okay, let's go over here. What? Is she making the tuna sound? Wait, what did I just see there? Oh, now she's gonna. No, you're not gonna use Pam. What about Pam? You got lots of Pam there. She's going to get oil. You look, and it's that gallon of olive oil. Look at that thing. Oh my God! <laughs> did she just pour? <laughs> These kids are going to die. That I'm scared. She doesn't measure shit. She cooks like she shops. Oh, let's put this in there. Five of them. Eight thousand of that. Crustables. Oh, she is frying her onion. Okay, I'll allow it. But if you fry your onion first, right, and then you put your beef in, your beef like soaks up the flavor. Like there's like there's tricks and tips and ways you should be cooking. That's wrong. So it's just straight oil and onion. Okay, I'm gonna let that onion cook down because I also feel like you chopped it too the thick. The more it cooks down, the less my kids realize it's in there. You undercooked those pancakes. This recipe also calls for mushrooms, but I leave those out. Yeah, because mushrooms are gross. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> is this like how Alicia's like the new Micah with cooking? All right, here we go with the sandwiches. And it's not even school. These kids are just going to eat this sandwich later? Like, what's... Okay, well, that's a lot of tuna on one sandwich. You put a whole can of tuna on one sandwich? I am concerned. That is a lot of mayonnaise just for one person to eat. Guys, this, honestly, it just makes me feel better when I watch these videos. And I'm like, damn, I thought I was bad. Holy shit, one whole can of tuna, probably five tablespoons of mayonnaise, salt and pepper on one sandwich? Ew. Not even margarine or butter on it? Ew. She's crazy. You can make four sandwiches with one can of tuna. On the tuna? Oh. Holy shit. You got it on that other one. Now someone has chipotle. Why would you skip the... You put Chipotle mayonnaise on the one when you could have just put it on that one that you spilled it on, except you skipped one and then put it on the other one. What's your problem? It's a lot of Chipotle mayonnaise. Okay, you're an idiot. The, would she skip the one that she failed on? I, I'm, I'm, I'm upset. What? What is she doing? Ew, you put Chipotle mayonnaise and mustard on the same sandwich? Why do you put a happy face? Uh, oh, here we go. Get ready. Ew. <laughs> oh my god. What's happening? Are people honestly giving her props and kudos for these types of videos? I've never seen one. This is the first one I've seen. Are you shitting me right now? It's not even done with care. Just because you put a happy face with mustard, that's the easy thing to make up. She's just like, <laughs> Holy shit, that's cheese. She doesn't even, that's extra cheese. Okay, okay, you're gonna cross contaminate. If you're doing like sweet sandwiches, like peanut butter and jelly with like mustard and chipotle mayonnaise and meat and cheese, stop cross contaminating. Put like the meat and cheese sandwiches, like all that shit on one side, and then the sweet sandwiches on the other side, okay? Kids are gonna be open up and have mustard with their friggin' peanut butter and jelly jelly sandwiches you're sick Ew, what is that shit what is that is that is that is that marshmallows she's putting melted marshmallows on sandwiches what did these kids eat that's not garbage give me one give me a video she put like cucumbers on it or something is she putting lettuce on the fluff okay that lettuce looks, looks gross. You cut them. Why you cut them like that? Everybody knows if you love your children, you cut it on an angle. Okay? Angled cut sandwiches taste better. It's science. I don't. I didn't make the science up. It's science. Angle cuts. Probably because these are put in baggies, I bet. Holy shit, they waste a lot. Just put it... Don't they have lunch pails with, like... We don't do baggies. We put our kids' sandwiches in, like, these plastic nice containers that they don't because we're not they bring their garbage home from school they're not allowed to throw shit out at school in the garbage i kid you not they bring that shit home why don't you cut that sandwich is that for her all right let's bag these up oh my god okay so we're at 5 40 Like, I, I, I don't believe her that she's, she does not start at 5 a.m. Because it's too convenient, right? She probably gets ready, does her thing, then sets the clock at 5 a.m. and then starts recording. I don't. Whatever. At this point, why do I even say anything? Look at that freaking pancake cup. She literally goes through a bottle of that a day. Okay. So your pancakes are ready. And they've been sitting on that plate for 45 minutes. The first ones have been anyway. Okay. And there's... So again... Cold pancakes sound delicious, and cold bacon, yummy. Sugar! Sugar. Uh, that's what I said. I'm like, the smells right now are... Sugar, 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 more sugar, more sugar. What are those? A cheese? I don't know what that is. Is that ranch? What is that? 
Again, what the hell? Like, I understand that she's trying to do this for convenience, but just get the little Tupperwares. And, like, what a waste. They're so wasteful. It's all ranch. No one's going to eat that shit, you damn liar. It's like she's giving out Halloween candy. Ah, such care. Yogurt. Sugar, you mean. Sugar. This is how you know this is fake. Ready? Watch this. Eh, I don't know. I'll just throw it. Because that's what she does. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Throw it. They're not going to eat it anyway. So all sugar. And then sandwiches. So not a piece of fruit in there. Chips. Holy shit, man. Are they even in school? Can these kids not make their own damn lunch? Oh my god, with the chips. Where's the anything? Oh, she put celery in. I'm sorry, she put celery. They're not even in school! Okay, I want to see the kids come down and eat. A little too crunchy. Come on. That's a little too crunchy. Stop. It's too much. Okay, that's it? Bacon and pancakes? I'm gonna see what I got for fruit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because you threw that shit in the garbage because it went rotten. Burn. No one's gonna eat the apple anyway, liar. Does she ever film her kids just eating? Because I'd like to see that. No one eating an apple. That's, That's what I'd like to see. All right, breakfast, lunch, dinner is done. Thank you for spending time with me. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong. And I'm so proud of you. And I'm a damned liar. Because my kids are sleeping for at least another hour or two. Come get your frozen pancakes, assholes! Love ya! I'll see you next time. Oh my god. It's <laughs> awesome. Oh my god. I can't wait for Snarkmas. I can't wait for it. This is amazing. She can't cook for shit either. Like, this is awesome. I can't wait to continue following this train wreck down the path of destruction. Yay! Oil and Pam! Everybody come eat your oil! It's delicious! Where's my coffee first? Slash alcohol cup. Mmm, coffee! Everybody take a deep breath. Thanks for joining me on this snark day. This fun day of snarking. And serious topics too. This is crazy. This woman is crazy. Okay? Just straight up. But you guys are amazing. Thanks for being here. Thanks for looking incredible, because you do. Today, just say this to yourself, ready? I am tight, yo. Don't say that, actually, that's stupid. But you are amazing, beautiful. Don't forget how damn valuable you are. And I know I was gonna say, should I stop saying that? I don't, because I actually believe that you should hear these things. She just does it because she's copying me, copycatter. Or she's been on long, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, you guys are amazing, though. And I wanna make sure you remember that, don't forget it. People need you, they need you here. So make sure you take care of yourself, all right? And I will see you.